My name is Havoc Hendricks, and I'm a self-taught artist. I went to school for business consulting, and I hated it. And I dropped out, and for the next like five years, uh, whatever jobs I had, I would come home and I would just paint every night until I got good enough to where my paintings became desirable and people started to want them. I paint a lot of uh, moon paintings, like these ones in the background. Um, I do a lot of mountain line work, like this this one up here. It's uh, from a distance, the lines kind of fade together and, and create the shape, but up close, it's all individually hand-painted lines. Um, and then another style I do a lot of is these geode paintings, which are kind of done with a marbling technique, uh, mixing water with the paint to get those design patterns. That was an awesome, fun project for me. I was able to make two different paintings for them. The first one was a lot of really, really tight, intricate uh, line work for a, a mountain piece. And it had this beautiful, very subtle gray fade behind it. The first piece was horizontal. So the second piece was vertical. And it was the same line work, uh, the same size of painting. But instead of a, a light gray fade, it had a, a very light grayish blue fade. So just very similar, but just enough differences that it, uh, no one would get confused that it was like the same, the exact same piece, you know. It's these three moons behind me. There's that one, this one, and that one. I'll see if I can get kind of a close up of one of these. All of these craters were made with these crazy uh, drilling tools. Maybe I can show you one. This is like one, it's like this spike ball that's uh, made out of metal. And so <laughs> using that, I can just barely touch it to probably anything, but in this case, wood and, and uh, artist paste. And the second I touch, wherever I touch it, that item disappears, like it never existed. So that's why it's scary, because if I accidentally touch something that I didn't want to disappear, it would disappear. This color is a really cool off-white color. And then the sheen is a matte sheen. So the cool part about having this texture with a matte sheen, I think, is that the shadows and the light interactions are from the texture itself versus a reflective sheen per se, where it could be like overwhelming. I live in this really narrow bottleneck of land. On one side is this, this pretty big lake. And then on the other side is the base of this huge mountain range. Out my uh, studio window, I see these mountains every day and they absolutely inform what I do. I also like as a kid, I was always attracted to these natural elements. They seem so magical and mysterious to me. I just love how I can look at patterns in mountains, patterns in ocean waves, cloud patterns, patterns in wood grain, and I see the same patterns in all of these natural elements. Uh, it's fascinating to me.